Hi guys, today we're going to look at a result that links many of the common distributions that we see. So many of the distributions continuous and discrete that we see in a course like Poisson, Exponential, Geometric, Gamma and so on belong to the exponential family of distributions. So if we know about the properties of the exponential family of distributions that means we know everything about the distributions that I've just mentioned and any other ones that fall into this member of this family. In problem 90 I derived the sufficient statistic for a one parameter exponential family and in this one we're going to look at the MGF the moment generating function for one parameter natural exponential family. So let f denote the PMF or PDF depending on whether y is discrete or continuous and it looks like this the parameter is theta. So what you have here exponent of the way that the parameter and the variable come together makes it natural. Uh, you've got a function h of y and then a q which is a function of the parameter. And the functions h and q will be different for depending on which distribution you're looking at. Likewise theta will be depending on which parameter which uh, distribution you're looking at as well. Right, so we want to show that the mgf is this. If we take one little step and take the log of this MGF that defines the cumulant generative function which is this and this guy is easy to work with for exponential families. So first let's do the proof and then we'll discuss. Well suppose without loss of generality that random variable y is continuous then by definition the MGF which is what we're after is this. Okay so we integrate because to calculate this thing because y is continuous so it's given by this because I used the result of expectation of some function g of y. Right now I need um, a strategy. Well, I'm going to two things. First you can see that there's common factor y here so I can group those together, come together like this. And then I see there are basically three terms here. This depends on y. This is a function of y. This is not a function of y. And looking at the MGF, basically that is the answer. I need this e exponential of this guy. Well it's right here. So this guy is a, a constant with respect to y, I can pull it out, which I have done on the next line. Now I need another result. Recall guys that the area under the curve of PDF here is 1. Okay, so we have already seen like I have changed the theta now to theta plus t over here. So if I have q as a function of theta plus t instead of theta, then that will be a fun um, function f of not theta but theta plus t and therefore that would also be a valid PDF and I can integrate and it will come to 1. Ok, so how do I get the theta uh, q to theta plus t in? I plus and minus this function. Ok, the add and subtract rule. And then I see like I can t take either or both of them out but it's only useful to take one of them out being this one here. The plus q function comes out because that gives me the answer what I need. What I'm left with is exponent of this plus this minus this which is PDF with a parameter theta plus t which we're assuming to be in the parameter space still and so that comes to one by definition of uh, PDF and take the log of this MGF and that gives us the CGF now recall we can use the MGF to derive the moments hence the mean and variance it's easy to actually work with the CGF in this case because we don't have to deal with the exponent in each case we showed that the first derivative of the CGF computed at 0 is the mean and the second derivative computed at 0 is the variance. This guy is called first cumulant, that's the second cumulant. This was proved in problem 73. Okay, so let's do it for this example. First derivative of the CGF is this. Now I want to compute this at 0 to get the mean. Okay, let's just write it over here. All right, that's the mean. Now by the chain rule I can show like that's the equivalent of doing the first derivative of this function q with respect to theta. Okay, likewise for the second cumulant, okay, second derivative first, and then set t to zero, that gives me this. So the variance is the same as saying the second derivative of q with respect to theta. So notice that working with the CGF and doing the derivative with respect to t is the same as working with q and doing the derivative with respect to theta. Let's write this down then. We've just shown that the mean is given by the first derivative of q and the variance is given by the second derivative of q. In general you can see by here there is a relationship between the, the cumulants here 
and the derivatives of q. For this reason, q goes by various names, including the also called the cumulant generating function, because it generates cumulants, cumulant function, and other things. OK, so one or two other points now. First, about the calculation. You can see that in the definition here, I've got plus and I've got minus. Some of you are thinking, why have I, why have I got minus here? Why don't I stick a plus? Well, you can put a plus there and work it through again. But you'll find that you've got minuses, minuses every time you get these Qs, and it's a bit of a mess to look at. So it's a bit cleaner just to, to put a minus right at the start, then I don't have to put minuses uh, elsewhere. For those of you who are studying the generalized linear models, the GLM models, that's a regression model, let's take um, a GLM where we have a known dispersion parameter, phi, which is bigger than zero. Then the PMF or PDF also belongs to the one dimensional exponential family because we write this, which is the same as above, but we'll introduce the phi parameter in purple. H changes to a different function, so I put an H star there. So writing this, you can just do as I've done above and show that the CGF is this, I, the same as before, except for now I've got a factor. This. And then from here, derive the mean and the variance. Finally, what you would really want to see is to see some examples for various distributions and the compute of the mean and variance in using this method. Um, so uh, on YouTube channel D Toha has done a few examples. So look at those and I'll be doing one for the gamma distribution.